Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead and just do that. Right. I don't know if it was on here. That's kind of cool, yeah. See, that's pretty good. It's a good area right there. Who joined? State your name for the record. some stuff out. Let's do a test match. Let's do some little battle of the super juniors. I've yet to sort through all these guys. This one is like the Barney fucking hair. Um, yeah, let's use this one. Let me test and see if this works.
så det blir fimbli bimbli. See this house match. This test match. Does anything go through? We're gonna go with Kushida versus none other than Will Ospreay. Track him down, checking him out. Four arms. Ooh! Powerful uh elbow there, uppercut. Throwing Kushida back into the corner. Kushida is thrown to the side. Throwing him back again. Drop kick connects. Beautiful drop kick. I was going to wrench the arm of Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay stopping him with another uppercut. Moving to the back. Throw him to the corner. He continues to wrench on that arm. On back. Tries to go for a kick. Avoids the kick. Forearm. A little bit of a chop there. Lifting him up. Suplex sends Will, Will Ospreay outside. Will Ospreay crawls back in. Forearm. Another forearm. Kick. Another forearm. Off the ropes. Ooh, beautiful arm drag. Could uh, set up for something, but decided not to. Goes for the kicks. Stiff kick city. Forearm connects. Tries to go for another forearm. Misses. Look at that Kushida. Wrenching on the arms. Playing to the side. Over. I mean, under. <laughs> oh, a bit of a knock there. And, ooh, roll up, but no, doesn't even get to one. Drags him back down to the floor, but can't do anything yet. Ooh, atomic drop into a suplex. Beautifully done by Kushida. Right to the nads. Drop kick connects. Gets back up. Next snap. Ooh, my God. One, no. Forearms. Forearms, oh my god. And the forearms clash is finished. Goes for a little Texas Clover Leaf, not a sharpshooter. Throws him back down to the ground. One, two, no. Some up. Powerful suplex again. Working on a. Uh, oh my god, splash misses! Oh no. Kushida is being stretched by that bow and arm hold. Kushida gets out. Throws him back into the corner. What's he going to go through here? Top rope move. Imminent. Oh! Top rope brain buster. Throws him to the side. Can't capitalize. Will Ospreay caught it, but Kushida is able to answer with some kicks. Pin. One. Two. No. Powerful. Salt? No. Moonsault into a pin. Was not successful. Wall spray. Could he be looking for it? No. He decides to stay back. Kushida probably already got that scouted. Kushida, no. Meaning an uppercut. Beautiful. Splash. Doesn't get anything but a two. To the back of the head and he falls down. Lifting up. Waiting for it. DDT! Tornado DDT. Kushida bringing up. Powerful fisherman's neck uh, buster. Ref checking on him to see if he can get to his feet, and he's okay. Ooh. Yep, we'll lost Bray. Whoa! Top rope fisherman. Bray Buster are now locked in the submission. Kushida. Oh, can't do it. The hoverboard lock was applied, but it couldn't follow through. Oh! Stiff punch! Stiff ass punch! Sends Will Ospreay careening down to the ground. And he's ready for it. Splash one, two, no! Off the ropes. Can he make it? Flips! Oh, Tope Suicida. Flashy with those back flips. Uh oh. Canadian Destroyer! Will Ospreay hits Kushida with the Canadian Destroyer. Kushida climbs out. Is he ready for it? Arm drag. Off the ropes. Into a arm bar. And the hoverboard lock applied. Will Ospreay will not kick. Uh, will not tap. He will kick out. And another arm bar. Vicious arm bars to Will Ospreay. Forearm. Must hurt that arm. 
Spinning heel kick connects. Kushida slowly rises to his feet. Chops, punch, chops, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch. The clash falls in no one's favor. Phoenix Splash, no! Rope Break calls it off, as you uh, may know in CRW Wrestling. Oh, Fisherman. The ref can stop if he believes that a 10 count is needed. Oh, Will Ospreay slowly climbing up. Buzzsaw kick might end it there! And a chokehold! Will Ospreay seeing stars, but is able to kick out. Forearm connects. Pulls him back into the ring slowly. Lifts him up. No. Oh! Forearm. And now an octopus hold applied. Will he tap? Will he tap? No, he won't. Lifting him up to the top. Get him ready to fly. Here he comes. And he hits it. The fisherman from the top rope. The ref. Will Osprey get up? Eight, nine. Yes, he gets up at nine. He's okay. The ref has checked him out. But this might end Will Osprey. Tope Suicida. Superman Tope. In a hoverboard lock on the outside. Oh my god. Oh dear lord. Buzzsaw kick. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. And it's over. It's over. Kushida won. The brain busters were just too much. And we're going to see some people from our Crossroads unit. Um, the little E-Fed thing that I'm running. SimFed, E-Fed. Uh, if you make a call, post it on there. It's fun to join. I'm sorry, I'm just checking a lot of stuff. Uh, right now, beautiful match with the Lost Brain Kushida. But I think it's time to splice in a little match of Crossroads. Where the fake and real combine. It's a shitty tag, but that's what I got for now. We're going to have Axel Evel Ever... Evermore versus Tony Black in our beautiful house match Kevin Cross RF now if you don't know how this works 
we have the ability for the ref to call at any time a 10 count. He can call a 10 count if he sees a dangerous move initiated because for our tournament that we want to implement, the best in the world tournament filled with so many favorite wrestlers from FAM to New Japan to TNA to Ring of Honor to here in Crossroads to any place in Fire Pro World, we have it here that, uh, you know, we want to keep them safe, essentially. You don't want them getting too messed up in the tournament or else that becomes a problem. So today we're going to see Axel Evermore versus Tony Black. Let's get it on. And here we have a fight. Axel Levermore versus Tony Black. Axel Levermore feeling out this guy a little bit. Early into the ring. Crossroads wrestling. Showing off the finest talent. Fireman's carry. Elbow to the back. Throwing him into the sides. But he quickly recovers. Tony Black. Whoa. Dragged to the ground. No. Ooh. Drop kick. Beautifully hit by Axel Levermore. Both of these men with some stiff punches. Axel Evermore trying to take Tony Black to the ground. Fails. Ooh, goes for a stiff lariat, but misses. Ooh, tiger suplex. Fails. Kick. Drawn deck down to the ground. And powerful spine buster. Not even able to get a one. But it's nice that he hooked it. He want to make sure that he... Oh! Powerful knee strike by Axel Levermore. Tony Black sent him across the loops. Going for a Hurricane Ron attempt. Failed. Axel Levermore saw that coming. Front punch to the face. All the way another punch to the face. Drop kick. This time fails. Sends him to the rope. Punch to the face. Stiff punch. Oh! Powerful release suplex. And an atomic drop sends Tony Black back down to the ground. But the neck breaker comes in for Tony Black. Punches all around. Fists. Flying everywhere you can imagine. Pulling with the center. Close to the center as you can get. No! Axel Evermore saw that punch and was like, not today, my friend. Breaking your arm. Powerful spine buster. Carrying through. Not even going for a hook. Axel Evermore looking drop kick to the legs. Wrenching on the neck. And here we go. Punch. Drop kick connects. Chop. And now, a oh, stunning atomic drop. And now latches in. Kicks out. Oh, throwing! Tony Black out of the ring with the release German. Tony slides back in. He's ready for some more. He's ready for a fight. Yanks the arm. Tries to take him down, but fails this time. Yeah. Neck breaker. One, two, no. Throw him to the corner. Drop kick connects. Dragging him back in slowly. Oh my god, stunner! Axel Evermore with the stunner going to the top rope. What's he gonna go for now? Drop kick to the shins. That stunner leaves Tony Black. Oh, no. The camel clutch locked in. Axel Evermore accidentally knocking out the ref. So it doesn't even matter if he tapped out or not. Axel Evermore. Monkey flip. Beautifully executed. One, two, three. No, 2.9. Oh, my God. What's he going for? Oh, a very dangerous pedigree. Not pedigree. A pile driver. Oh, elbow drop. Can he get up? Tony Black. He's able to get up at four. Snamming to the back of the head. Move him a little bit to the center. Just take him down to the ground. Fails. No. Not this time. Whoa! Rolling through. Clutching that leg of Axel Evermore. Rolling elbow. Connects beautifully. To the top. What is he going to go for? A powerful uppercut from the top rope. Sending Axel Evermore to the ground. 
And will he? Yes, he stays up for four. Oh, look at that. He's ready. Whoa! That straight jacket he's got right there. Holding on a dear life. What is this? Yes! Okay, baby is right. Goes in for another submission after doing that tiger suplex. And another neck breaker from Tony Black. Tony Black not messing around. Punch to the forehead. And he's down. Punch to the back. And Axel's down again. Goes back to that little straight jacket submission. Now Axel Evermore is able to kick out much because he can't reach the ropes, I guess. Hands are literally tied in that situation. Backbreaker, another beautiful move. Powerful splash. Could keep Tony Black down, but he only garners a four. Oh, wow! Release German soup. Release suplex. Exploder. Uh, three, four, five. Tony Black getting slower. Slower to get up than before. Axel Levermore getting what he wants. Oh, my God. Muscle Buster! But Tony Black able to command some sort of energy to stop Axel from doing any more damage. And now a strike contest is initiated. Rolling elbow! And will that send Axel down? No. It only garners a five. Oh! My god, that move! But no, Axel Evermore locks in an armbar before Tony Black has a chance to do anything. Tony Black is knocked down. Going up to the top. Splash connects. One, two, no. Only a two count. Rolling through. Working on that leg. Could this be it? No. Break. Throws on the outside. Tony Black looking to do some damage with some hard punches on the outside. These two men not concerned with... Oh! DDT and Tony Black. Oh no, this might just go to a timeout. And Tony Black noticing the 15. Knew that it was time to get in. Damage on the outside been done. Axel looking for a five-star frog splash. One, two, three. And Axel Evermore gets the win on Tony Black. Beautiful splash at that end there. He saw him, he took the opportunity, he had essentially taken less damage than Tony Black. Tony Black, of course, showing some great offense there, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. The 10-star splash garners on the pinfall. The judge has given him an 88%. I don't think that was enough. But hey, I'm not a ref. What can you do? Welcome whoever the one viewer is. If that's a glitch or what? I, I'm not entirely sure. But as we see here, last noticed, Axel Evermore won against Tony Black with a 10 star splash. Able to wear him down. But we're about to see some uh, beautiful wrestling from more of our Fire Pro uh, family here. Welcome, whoever came into the chat. Uh, Fire Pro. We're going to see some more Fire Pro talent here with Val Morgan versus Max Cutter. 
for our Crossroads Home Show. Stick around, you know, we're going to do more than just this uh, house show card. We got more characters to fight. If you uh, even put in some advice, you know, might find um, some wrestlers. We might do some fights there, but that's up to you. You want to stay? Request some matches? We'll do them. But since I know the spot is running, I'm just trying to get some out of here. Some, uh, some interesting matches in. So let's see. Val Morgan. There you are. The kinesthetic. The star. The man with the kinesthetic. Kinetic aesthetic. Kinesthetic is something different. Versus Max Cutter. Maximum Cutter. Let's see here. And I might take a time right now to say uh, thank you to all the people who have uh, donated their cause or to me uh, for the Crossroads specifically or people on the Fire Pro Association arena that have allowed their cause to be used. Without you, I could not really do a lot of what I'm going to do because God help me if I ever wanted to make a full roster of characters because that is frankly ridiculous it, it is mind-boggling so let's get it on Val Morgan versus Max Cutter the tough SOB versus the star in reverse order Val Morgan is the star let's get it on ref calls it Forearm connects. Val Morgan. Sizing up his opponent. Max is, looks stronger than him. Oh! Jawjacker does not connect. It's met with a European uppercut. Val Morgan's going to try and take this man down to size. But the tough SOB keeps coming with those uppercuts. And those stiff punches. Whoa! Tries to go for a cutter. But no. Max looking to end this match early. Taking it out of the ground. Going to the corner. Just for a slap. Nope. Taken down by Val Morgan. Using that agile body of his. Wrenching on the neck. Oh, 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 oh! Stiff punches. Raking the mouth. Kneeing. Max Cutter slams Val on the ground. Rebound, drop kick, connects, and Val is pumped up, obviously. Oh no! The ref knocked in to Val by Max! Ooh. The strike contest. Integral! But, oh my god, Val is able to withstand Max's uppercuts, which tires Max out just a little bit. Rolling Lariat. Up to the face. Down. Uh, suplex. Oh, drop kick to the legs. Sending Max Cutter down. Super kick. Twisting those arms. Jumping off. Oh! Knees to the face. Max Cutter sending him down with the slam. And now goes to work on pounding Val Morgan's face into mush. But not today. Oh, 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 oh. The tough SOB. Going from the top rope to deliver some more punches. Jesus Christ. Almighty. That was too much. Now working on those arms. The face. Uh, so what else is on the card? We're going to see as uh, Val Morgan gets pounded in the face. Oh! Is EJ Okami in our main event versus Carl Zilla, the ruiner of arms. And before that, we'll have Will Craddock versus, uh, man, I'm just going to call BS, just in case uh, I get demonetized for saying that. But a roundhouse kick to Max's face connects. Going off the ropes. PK! Bouncing off the ropes this time. Going reverse. Neck. Breaker. Oh! Using the feet. Max Cutter, ruthless man from England, pounding his face in the freaking mush. Setting him into the corner. Down Morgan. 
powerful knee strike to Max Cutter. <clears throat> and now, oh, flipping off the crowd. Oh my god! Feet trigger! That sustained feet trigger. The more, the thing that's most amazing. Oh my god! These two men took brutal moves, traded brutal blows, but are still able to know. Roll up by Val Morgan. These people taking brutal blows, somehow still able to get up and do more. It's amazing from both of the Max Cutter. Ooh, elbow to the face. Ooh, Val going for them shins with his kicks. Ooh, sliding kick. Sliding drop kick, rather. And another drop kick. Ten minutes have passed. We have a 30 minute limit, I believe. Oh, Destino! Kinesthetic Aesthetic connects! PK! But Max Cutter just gets right back up. He's not selling any of that, but he will make Val sell that European uppercut. Cutter! One more time, and the ref calls it. Could it be enough to put Val Morgan down? Val Morgan standing on his knees. Can he get back up? And it gets back up at eight. Oh! Low blow into the Lama Gistral! Oh! 2.9! And the crowd loses its mind! Oh, Canadian Destroyer! Four, five! That low blow into the Lama Gistral Cradle was dirty. Val Morgan not caring about how he wins it, just if he wins. Oh my god, Tiger Brainbuster only garners a two. Val Morgan is hit with an exploder. And the ref calls it this time. Will Val Morgan be able to get up? Getting up slightly faster than before. Seven, eight, nine, no, again at eight. Max Cutter must be losing his mind. Canadian Destroyer. And to a sh Sharp shooter, a scorpion deathlock! Oh my god! That was beautiful! Val's got them combos, Max has just got pure strength! And this just might be the end. No, kick connects. No, rolling through to an armbar! Val Morgan is able to keep his hands on, uh, legs on the ropes, but it doesn't do enough. Canadian Destroyer! Max slowly getting up. Max Cutter showing some great display of strength if he stopped here. Nine! No! One second more and he could have gotten a ten! Max showing Val what for with some stiff uppercuts. That's what we like to see in CRW. Men who like to get it done! No! And that did it! Speaking of getting it done, Max Cutter defeats Val Morgan with a series of brutal uppercuts. Oh my god. Just when we thought it was going to end on some Cutter or some Canadian Destroyer. No, just stiff uppercuts by Max Cutter. Straight blow after blow after blow. Each one sending Val Morgan lower and lower and lower to the ground but you saw Val Morgan could slowly starting to get up slowly starting to get some life into him but unfortunately it's just not enough it is just not enough 84 the judges call it winning by K
Jeez, I almost like broke my vocal cords there. But the fact that stiff uppercuts was the thing to bring Val Morgan to his knees. <clears throat> That's amazing. Truly, truly amazing. If anyone in the chat wants to offer a, a, a match that we can do later on, a non-scheduled match for Crossroads, then that's perfectly fine with me, if you want it. Go after match or whatever. But, speaking of next on our card, Will Craddock versus BS. The comic book hero versus the horny one. In the sense that he's got horns, not in the sense of his libido. Iron Man attire is going to come out flashy for tonight. For he shall be facing none other than Mexico's greatest. The greatest lucha in the world. Mexico's greatest. Bullshit. Get it on. <laughs> Should put me his. Ah, well. Sorry, man. Oh! Yes, he, uh, Tony Black fought against Axel Evermore. In a beautiful match, Axel Evermore won, however, 10 star. Splash, but uh, focusing right now on this match. Oh! Elbowed on the head. Make sure that this records. Uh, it's supposed to record. Anyways, uh, so it should come up. And if not, we'll just redo the match. Chops. Stiff chops. The horny one. Yanking on the arms. Chesting each other out. Well, Craddock. Still yanking. It's a yank contest. See who takes off someone's arm first. Will it stop? Yes, it will. Will the Craddock controlling. Setting him into the corner. Stiff elbow. Off the ropes. Chops connect. Or elbow connects. Suplexing him. Now going back to those arms. Making sure Bull can't do his bullplex. And... Bull trying to make sure that Will Craddock can't do his Death Star Destroyer. Beautiful moves. About to be done tonight. Ooh. Strike contest is initiated. Great house show at Crossroads. Both men showing the strike. Throw him in the corner. Chops. Not going to let Bullplex do anything in the corner with him. Throwing him into the corner this time. But Bullplex getting out. Yanking the arm once again of Will Craddock. Suplex connects. Dragon him in the ring. Got a little bit of water. Throw him in the corner. I have a little bit of water. Announcing these things drives me crazy. Hurricane Rana attempt on Bullplex connects. <clears throat> Stomping on the leg. Just to keep him down a little bit. Real crowd going off the ropes. Bullplex just do a knee but fails. Now goes for a little bit of a submission here. But Bullplex not able to keep it. Will Craddock's hair and ponytail touching the ropes. An embodiment of him, so therefore, it's like a hand. Llama just draw cradle. Nothing doing. Send him in there. Ooh! Oh, God! Yoinking it. Yanking once again. Oh! Yes, kicking him in the back. Once again, Josh Belmonte, I believe that that's Doink T, uh, owner of AAW. But yes, yanking the, the arms. 
Old Plax doing a drop kick. Well, what's this? Oh, Ushiguroshi with those knee pads. Must hurt him something fierce. And no, Moonsault attempt fails. Bullplex showing him how it's done with a powerful senton off the top ropes. Going uh, to deliver that elbow. What? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> elbow room. One, two, three, no. Sizing each other out. Once again, Ushiguroshi attempt connects. And oh, what's this? Super kick! Bullplex just getting back up from that super kick from all the way across. Bullplex going to the top. Showing a beautiful little lariat. Oh. Going for that submission maneuver. Yank it on him. Going around. Oh, German suplex out of the ring. Get out of that ring, Will Craddock said. Be gone. Oh! Death Star Destroyer on Will Craddock by Bullplex. Sends him out of the ring one more time with a German. Not today. Rolling chops. Powerful stiff knees. One, two, three, four, five. Off the ropes. Bullplex taunting once more. Keeps him going. Will Bullplex. Yes, Bullplex. Let's go with a hold. No oh, super kick. That's a kick, but a kick nonetheless. Will Craddock slowly getting to his feet. Throw on the outside. Will Craddock. Superman. There he goes. The comic book hero hits big moves here tonight. Oh, whoa, around, throwing him into the ring, no, whoa, oh my god, Death Star Destroyer on the outside, 15 count before he gets right back in, rolling elbow, throwing him into the corner, elbow, connects, ooh, holds that suplex, splash by Will Craddock, 2.9, Welcome, uh, whoever came into the chat, as we're going to see. Beautiful, beautiful play by, oh, release German suplex by Will Craddock and Bullplex, or Bullshit. As he slowly rises to his feet. Five. Will Craddock. Ushiguroshi connects. Stomping, tuning the band up for another super kick. And the ref calls it. Will Bullplex be able to get to his feet? Six, count. Seven. Eight, nine, yes. Bullplex acknowledges that he's okay. Could this be it? Rolling elbow. Connects. Dragon sleeper applied and it's all over. Will Craddock beating Bull by Dragon Sleeper. That deadly Dragon Sleeper, even better than his Death Star Destroyer. Oh my god. No disrespect to a man like Bull, but geez, that, that tap out came from almost out of nowhere, and we're about to see some more beautiful action. We're going to go to our house show event before we go to the after party. We're in just random matches and we just hang out and we just have fun watching random ass matches because why not i'm having fun aren't you having fun i hope you are because why not but carl zilla but anyways our main event match carl zilla the ruiner of arms versus one of my friends okami the Ronin! Watch out for both these men. Skilled technical wrestlers. Technical as all hell going against each other in this ring. There can be only one. 
Carl Zilla, of course, scheduled for the best in the world tournament that I'm holding. He's going to fight against Cameron Bash. The Cameron Bash. To see who can proceed to the next round. Who can get higher up on that little totem pole to get closer and closer to the beautiful best in the world belt. Let me show you it right now. I'm going to show you the little belt right here. Best in the world. Non-title holder. Heavyweights can get it. But only one heavyweight can hold it. The truest heavyweight. The best in the Fire Pro world can obtain this belt. Let's get it on. Okami versus Carl Zilla. At our house show. We're about to see some beautiful stuff. Break! And these guys are at it. Carl Zilla, the ruiner of arms. Going for the arms of Carl Zilla. I mean, Carl Zilla. Oh, come. <laughs> oh. Okami's showing what he's made of with those stiff strikes. Arm drag. Carl Zilla working on them arms. Now, here's the thing I love about Carl Zilla. He, he's simple. But that's the best thing about it. How can he pull off that simple idea? Ruining your arm. How and what way can he break it? And he's also not above those stiff punches as you just saw. Throwing Okami into the ropes. Okami going to try and chop him across there. Oh! Beautiful slap to Carl Zilla. And Carl Zilla going to have to, as you saw, backed away for a second. I had to think about what this man just did to him. Yanking on EJ Okami. Yanking on him. Kicks. Both men proficient in. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, oh my God! Did not fall for that arm bar attempt. Too smart for that. He's like, no, no, no. Kick to your, kick to your chest. Smart move there by Okami. Tries to go for some uh, move off the ropes. No, second time doesn't go as well as the first. Okami trying to back up there for a second, assess what this Ruiner can do. He's obviously showing right now arms that he's going to basically break off Okami. Okami needs to know what he has to do to not get caught in those traps. Dangerous elbow. But Carlzilla keeps that arm, keeps those arms in sight. He never lets him out of his sight. He's like Soldier 76. Just not letting him go off the ropes into an arm bar smart move by Carl Zilla keeping that arm trapped off the ropes roll up one no come around for a chop yoink on that arm a little bit more off the ropes into a kitchen sink that sends Okami tumbling to the floor. Nope, not even a one count. Just trying to go for those kicks. Carlzilla notices them. Gets hit with a tiger suplex. Dragged in the middle of the ring by Okami. Okami going off. Flash elbow style. Great Muda style. But now going to the back of Okami. Look at that man. Armbar locked in. Now he's had a lot of arm bars, but his very dangerous one the final one he'll pull out at the last second is the zilla armbar triangle choke onto your arm or triangle arm hole first it seems like hell's gate but then it turns into something even worse goes for the pin one two no kicks out we're good yes arms arm bar Sorry, did I say something else? Did I say something other than arms? But, let's see. Arm bar. Arms. Arms for days, Carlzilla. Arms for days. Not letting go of those arms. Okami. Oh, oh my god. Carlzilla is like, remember when you kicked me in the shins or my chest? 
When I tried to go for that arm bar, he was a finger poke of doom for you. Arm bar. Arm bar. Arm bar. Arm bars for days. Carlzilla can just not stop arm barring. Can't stop, won't stop. Come on to the top. Ooh. Chop. Yanking on him. Yanking on him. Six. Trying to throw him back into the ring. Okami goes for a dragon screw. <laughs> oh my god. It's a little bit of a sharpshoot. These two men just. No. Oh my god. Oh, thank Jesus. Master of 101 arm bars. Yes. I was about to say, if this ended in a count out for Okami simply by hubris, I would have gotten really mad. Denenzo hits it. One, two, nope. Master of 101 arm bars. Each one of them hurts, but only a two count. Look. Now goes to the top. Frog Splash connects. One, two, no. Two. Trips the leg. Picking him back up. Neck snap. And the ref calls it. Could possibly be a last man standing situation. Nope. Still yanking on those arms. Ooh. Look to the back. Get him in the legs. Blade Buster. Could it be over for Carlzilla? Will Carlzilla have to go home? Start off his CRW career with a loss? No. Goes for the pin one, two, no. The leg stunner right there. Goes back to yanking the arms. Give me them arms, boy. The lifting him up, Tiger Suplex. Beautiful. Continues working on those. And look at that, EJ Okami not even able to. Oh! EJ Okami not even able to lift his arms right now. Just ruined by Carlzilla. Ooh. Oh, showing Carlzilla a little bit of justice. Oh my god! Okami submitting Carlzilla via armbar. Via armbar. Defeating Carlzilla with his own move. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. The arm breaker. Flying cross arm breaker. 97% by our judges. But that is amazing. Tapping Carlzilla out. How's that going to look in the tournament where he faces Cameron Bash? Cameron Bash is going to note that. Cameron Bash is going to keep that in his little noggin. That although he may be the master of armbars, he is not unbeatable. <laughs> no! <laughs> master of armbars. Is beaten by an arm bar. It's not even. It's, it wasn't even like. Wasn't even like a like a super cool like reverse into an arm bar into this into that like. It was just an arm bar. Just one single arm bar. I mean, it was a flashy arm bar. But it was basically an arm bar that he should have easily been able to just slip out of. I feel like uh, Carlzilla is going to have to have a long thought. A long sit. Long, long, a long sit and uh, think, some would say, in the, in the locker room after seeing something like that. Because I think that that might just be a little bit crazy. But you know what? I think I'm going to go on a little bit more. We're going to have a little bit more with our house show. I'm going to have a little bit more with our house show. Hmm. Let me just look at my uh, little sheet here and see if we can have a cameo appearance 
uh, a show off for a next thing. Ooh. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see, Kyle's. Mm. Kyle's here. I have an idea. Hmm? Cameron Bash. You'll see these two guys later up in uh, CR uh, Crossroads, but today, I'm going to see them have a little house match. <laughs> Fire Pro Accuracy is the same as getting beat by a rest hold. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to see these two fight later on in our Crossroads universe we've got a little here. Cameron Bash, FAMs. World Champion versus Tetsuya Naito. Got a little elbow to the face there by Tetsuya Naito. Naito responding with a little bit of his own. Raking the... Oh! Shote misses! By a... Whoo! Here. Cameron Bash with a little bit of a bash bottom there if you saw. The thing about that is uh, Cameron Bash, as you may notice in a lot of FAM matches, kind of does a signature and finisher a lot. So, well, can't say that these moves will finish the match, but they certainly will get some damage in there. A beautiful boot to the face. One more time. Whoa! Leash German. Throwing Cameron Bash to the ropes. Cameron... Quickly gets out. Looks at that. Uh, ooh. Elbow. Now a strike contest starting real early. Real fast. Drop kick. That's amazing. Goes back to raking those. Raking that mouth. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh! Freaking God! Doesn't go for the pin, but instead goes for a little bit of a rest hold right there. Wrenching on the jaw of Naito. Yeah, I still can't get over that. Boston Crab, but uh, I still can't get over that irony. Carl Zola and Cameron Bash are going to have some words backstage, probably, or, uh, or a little bit of a look. Cameron Bash is going to come in with a little bit of more cockiness. Not that dominant, you know. You're, you're beatable, which is the sad thing about this, is the proof that Carl Zilla will essentially... Live with that shame. I, I could possibly see if we could book Okami into the tournament uh, uh, later on, but right now it doesn't seem like a, that's a thing that he would want. German suplex. Quick punch. Grab onto the back of the head. Bash bottom connects. 
Beautiful, and the ref calls for a little bit of a count to ten. Ten count. Slowly rising back to his feet. And Zagiri. Stomping on the neck of Cameron. Cameron Bash goes for an angle slam. Ooh, another angle slam. Both Tetsuya Naito. And, uh, oh! One. Two, three, four, slowly rising to his feet. Six count. Bash bottom. Oh my lord in heaven. But I have to say that there was something crazy right there. The bash bottom ending that match. Beating Tetsuya Naito. Again, I have to say that they constantly uh, not lose, but uh, he uses a lot of his signatures and finishes a lot, which, you know, may bore people, but I gotta say it, it, it got the job done. But let's say we have. <laughs> I know, right? He gets beaten by a by a freaking rock bottom, a bash bottom, as he calls it, and um, it's just it was over. So we're gonna change up a little bit of the pace of the, in this house show. Uh, he's not worth it. Was worthy of this, yes, yes. Hmm. I like how they kind of have like STNA days, it's kind of cool. You have Christopher Daniels versus Christopher. What was his name in WWE? Uh, uh, Brian Danielson, that's what it was. Brian Danielson, there you go. We got a little bit of our. Uh, I've yet to move him out of the past into the future because level luck. At least, at least house shows are non-canon, yes. House shows are technically non-canon. Uh, they can be canon if you want them to be, but uh, you know. Goof him around a little bit if, if it furthers the character. Yanks him down. Puts him in the face. Slams him. Rolls off Christopher Daniels versus Daniel Bryan. Puts some baby face fire. Slides off of there. Goes in, goes out. Christopher Daniels assessing the situation. Beautiful. Off the ropes. Powerful slam. Kicks. Misses. Goes to the ropes. Slams him on the outside again. Daniel Bryan. I wonder how long Daniel Bryan is uh, really going to have to take that. See here. Oh, pile driver. Yes, house shows. Uh, speaking of which, house shows technically are canon, but they don't matter. Like, 
They, they can they they can be brought up if you want them to. Yeah, you know, they, they don't have to. I'm a beautiful straight contest. Bringing it down to the ground one more time. The mat wrestling. Mat style. Of a. Uh, Dang it, Brian. I see a critical roll. Roll up. Then knock someone out. Oh my gosh. Honestly, like, roll ups. Yeah, you, can't, you can't mess with those roll ups. They're dangerous. They're really. They'll sneak up on you. <laughs> Seen a botched roll up before? It, it probably hurts. I've never done it. I've never wrestled, but I, I assume a botched roll up could like break your neck. Beautiful moonsault. Best moonsault ever. Well, as you can see here, Daniel Bryan showing Christopher Daniels that that's not. Oh! Kick to the back wakes Christopher Daniels up. Best! Moonsault ever. <coughs> Ooh, look at that. Kicks. Reverses into his own uh, shoulder block. Exploder holds on. Smart exploder instead of a release hanging on. Angel's wings. It could all be over. <coughs> Nope. And Zagiri connects. But amazing. Kicked out of the angel's wings. No! Tried to go for a northern light, but it was reversed into a DDT. Now he's just... Now he's just being mean at this point. He's just choking Daniel Bryan out. <clears throat> so on the other side. Put some distance between himself and... Uh, ooh! Christopher Daniels. Christopher Daniels like, I'm smart. I, I see through this. I'm smart. I'm smart. DDT. This could be the end for Daniel Bryan. No. 50. But yeah, that's amazing. I was like, ooh, what's he going for now? No, the yes lock attempt fails. It'd be cool to see some yes kicks. Oh! Whoa, that roll up was fast. That roll up was in another one. <laughs> Christopher Daniels not caring how this ends, just that it does end. Daniel Bryan roll up this time. Showing him how it feels. It's like a anything you can do, I can do better thing right now. And a roll up, just to prove my point. Tag up Bryan, like, I can roll up better than you can roll up. And roll up with the best of them. Wheelbarrow right there. Oh, Christopher Daniels getting up really quicker. Ref didn't count immediately before that, so I think he thought that there was something. Oh! One, two, three. Thing of Brian. Taking a while to get up. But he gets up. Sometimes you have to think about Daniel Bryan. Some rock is noggin. Tiger suplex holds on, but unfortunately at the ropes. No! Low blow. Whoa, blow. That's not cool. 2.9. Goes for an extravagant pin. Suplex. Doesn't work. Rolls up one more time. One, two, three. No. Goes off the ropes. Spinning slam. He's ready for it. Angel's wings a second time. Daniel Bryan slower to get to his feet. Could this end? Eight, nine, ten. There it is. Oh my lord. Christopher Daniels. All you need is two angel's wings. And all you need is one pedigree. Two angels wings, one pedigree. Like, 
15 Superman punches, 78 F5s. Ref says 88% is what we got from that. It's amazing. The judges giving us an, a, a stern 88. House shows are crazy, man. They are really, they're, they're something else. Crossroads. You have weird matches, and then you have that. Yeah, No. Mm, I don't want, I don't want any FM guys right now. Let's see. What's with Brent Films in here? The Cinematic Titanic. You got Brent Films in here. Uh, let's see a fight with uh, Kyle Stevens. Who will be the face and who will be the heel in this situation? I'll leave that up to you, my friends. Do I not have Kyle Stevens in here? Maybe I did. Nice. He's not here. There he is. I was, I was right. I lost my, I'm losing my mind here. This match is so fuck, freaking crazy. Tony, Tony, Tony fucking Black. Tony, you want Tony to do another match? He just, he's in the back right now. He got, he got hit with the. The the, f the the ten star splash. He's had a he had a he had a heck of a match. Honestly, on I I, I I give props to the man. I give I give props to this boy, to this this guy for taking all those those moves. He's like a muscle buster. He got up from that. Like I don't think he's ready to do another match. But um, that's up to you. All right, let's see here. Kyle Stevens, Brent Films. <laughs> Whoever this, uh, this this zip line guy, this vigilante, I want to see how he works. So let's get this going. The superhero. Smack him in the back of the head. See a little arm jack scene. Not a lot of a lot of flashy moves just yet. Not like the beginning where they're just kind of like flashy moves at the gate. We're seeing uh, snap uh, next uh, snap mares, arm drags, some kicks there and there. But otherwise, this is a slow match. Brett films the cinematic Titanic. Slam him down to the ground. Armbar Jesus. I know, right? Uh, if this records, you know. If this records, I'm gonna put it up on YouTube. You're gonna you're gonna see it all. All of it. Every little thing is gonna be up there. You're gonna have fun watching that match, cause uh I had fun watching it too. But look at these guys right now. Going at it slowly. It's just snap mares and small punches. To, uh, woo, Lariat. Kitchen sink into a Boston Crab. Traditional moves by traditional dudes. And we're finally seeing a big, bigger move out of there. Stuplex by Kyle Stevens. Off the ropes. No holds on. It's amazing he holds onto the ropes like a zip line. I don't know what that meant, but uh, it sounded cool. One, two, three, four. Four punches to the face. <laughs> Captain New Japan, what is he doing? <laughs> Captain New Japan is gone. <laughs> Captain New Japan is dead. Captain New Japan is gone with the wind right now. See a little bit of a 
Off the ropes. Leg kick. Hello? Lariat. It's an old style wrestling. Old, old style wrestling. Southern wrestling. One to the top. Elbow. Elbow after elbow after elbow after elbow. The suplex. Brett Films is down. Only gets a two. Only catches a two right now. Oh, exploder suplex connects. Beautiful movements. Small strike contest we got here. Very methodical. Cap, uh, I'm not gonna say Captain New Japan. Let me think of Captain New Japan now. Oh, turning back clothesline. Not a ripcord lariat, but. Still gonna get the job done. Brett Films, the cinematic Titanic, the Hulk Hogan of Hollywood. Even though Hollywood Hulk Hogan exists. Elbow. See, like, you gotta like people like these, you know. People, people who see the flippy shit. People see the flippy stuff. And they just go, I'm not gonna do the flippy stuff. I'm not gonna do this flippy stuff. My, 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 my character. Could really mean I could do any flippy thing at any moment, and I I could win, but nah, not this time. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it solid. I'm gonna play ground game, some ground game mind game stuff we got here. One on top. What is he gonna do here? Oh my God! Kraken suplex off the top rope. Jesus Christ, that man is dead. I take back what I said. Brent's dead. I think you gotta have some sort of superpower. This guy must be a superhero because he had the ability to take that dragon suplex from off the top and just get up and super kick a man in the face. It takes some serious, serious cojones to, to pull off something like that. Brett's calling for it. Taking him down to the ground. Smart. Slamming him down. Belly to belly one more time. Traditional style wrestling. I love it. I love it, my Look at this man. Brett Films gets up at nine. Oh my gosh, this this is nuts. Kyle Steven. Gotta give it up to this man. Ooh, I take that back. <laughs> Brett Films, but see these simple moves are really great. Like he's not he's not doing the top rope. Not doing tope suicidas or nothing. Just top rope clotheslines and kicks. Uh, as OSW review might call it a punch kicky affair. But honestly, I like I like it. It's kinda kinda cool. Six, seven, Brett, really get up to his feet. Yes! Just before ten. One Mississippi. It was like a missa. Oh, Not my hero. Who's your hero, man? One, two. Brett slowly getting back up. Reaching for the stars. Nine. Yes, back up at nine. This fight will continue. Ooh. See, look at this old school. Kyle Stevens. Regaining a little bit of strength. No. It might just be over. Might be over, and yes! The cinematic Titanic 
Steals a win. <laughs> the cinematic Titanic snaggles a little, a little win there. It's just a boot to the face. It's all you need, apparently. Slowly rising. Couldn't get to the top. Ninety-two percent KO. It's amazing. I think these. Uh, strangely enough, these two have had the the highest. No, don't say that. Get me demonetized or something off of, uh, off of the, this this platform. <laughs> See, that's... Oh, like notice that all day. I don't know how to get rid of the, the chat. I mean, maybe uh, maybe hide the chat. For the same for the same shit like that. It's gonna be not fun. See something here. We're gonna see. Fukushima versus Sammy Rai. The Sammy Rai. I just got that. I'm ashamed of myself for just getting that. Fight. Fight. These two big boys. Not even wearing a shoes. Look like at it holds him back. Over tackle. Yanking the arms. Stabbing the knees into the gut. Off the ropes. Just throws him in the turnbuckle. Sammy Uri. Ooh, stiff punch. Punch before the face. Running tackle. Ejected to 10. Yeah. Takes him down to the ground. That's amazing little twirls and flips here. What's the pay per view schedule? Um, well, the pay per view is going to be stage one of the best in the world tournament. It's going to have. I can get my thing here, my, my little trusty piece of paper. Uh, Black Heron versus Zachariah Zealot. Ron Buster versus Adam Cole. Cameron Bash versus Carl Zilla. And Jin versus Will Craddock. Uh, we're going to sprinkle some more here. But, right now that was, uh, that was the schedule I had. I didn't know people in Crossroads were going to take to this. But we certainly will add more people into the tournament. As time progresses, uh, you might see Axel Evermore and, uh, uh, um, and, uh, you know, Axel Evermore and, uh, T Tony Black in there, so don't worry about that, honestly. Uh, it'll be fine. I might actually replace some of the people in the cards 
uh, in the cards in the card with uh, some of these guys. I might uh, I might slip uh, you know might switch out Zacharias. You let let's see what the booking goes. Um, but certainly we will have Cameron Bash versus Carl Zilla uh, for the pay per view uh, probably Friday I believe hopefully on Friday. Don't at me on that, but. I will make sure that we get that done because most of this is going to be live. Uh, hopefully, be live stream because that's what I think would be uh, more fun for you guys and for me. Now, I might switch this from a league style, a uh, league style which is points to just a regular tournament. Uh, but we're gonna see what the future holds. I might have to repurpose this if I'm gonna do a uh, long time. Excuse me. But I will certainly notify you, uh, no notify the wrestlers backstage of what the tournament's going to be like. And I will make sure that you guys get what you need. But Sammy Rai, look at that little Sammy Rai uh, submission hold here. Getting knees in the back. Chad Fukushima with those double knees to the neck. Got the knees, boy. These two guys are doing a hell of a match right now. Let's see here. Ropes, look at that. It's kind of cool. Like, he avoided that kick by trying to go for an MMA takedown, both of which failed. But, um, now you'll notice the rough hasn't uh, stopped any of this, but you know, the rules of a uh, house show while I'm at it is uh, there will be no uh, count outs unless they are both down. Uh, I'm only imp implementing the uh, countouts for this house show because I want the wrestlers to be fresh and to be safe and to be uh, respected uh, and to make sure that no one is hurt. No, 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 uh, no bad hurties. Don't want them too injured. Yeah, I have to say, Tony Black, again, back to Tony Black, pulled out a lot of uh, stops in this match. Beautiful little match, beautiful little showcase. First people to showcase uh, Crossroads talent here at this uh, beautiful event. Seeing right now both of these powerhouse wrestlers just going at each other. Chad Fukushima working on basically stomping it uh, and, and caving a hole. In the Chad Fukushima. Besides, <laughs> yeah, Knight, Knight was uh, Knight was uh, prob probably not gonna be in this tournament. <laughs> Not for a while, anyways. You might be uh, lower on the card, but uh, that that bash bottom, uh, that bash bottom put him out. It it it, it ended him uh, certainly. Oh, Chad Fukushima! Oh my god! That's turning two step. I revolution me! My big man! That's gonna. You know, you, it's, uh, it surprises you if you see like a big man bust out a move like that. You know, just knee to the, to the face. 
<laughs> yeah, but Naito, Naito certainly is dead at this point. The beautiful Northern Lights bridging into an armbar by Sammy Rai. A beautiful dis display of a technical and physical prowess he's got right now. Working on that arm bar, that arm bar into an arm bar into an arm bar. Ooh. So yeah, Tony. Uh, since you, I, I assume that you are Tony Black, uh, yeah, you can use this uh, in your promo, and whatever you want. Uh, Write up a little role play on our on our, our beautiful uh, ch uh, chat here. But yes, Max Cutter. Uh, that's another thing. Max Cutter's was a was a real was a real big. In uh in his match against Val Morgan. Uh, Val Morgan, surprisingly, uh, my upset, personal upset, was uh, getting, seeing his, you know, uh, self get beat, just knocked out to the ground by Max Cutter, just after repeated European uppercuts. He didn't get critical. The ref just stopped it. He saw that 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 Val Morgan was dazed. He was. I don't think he could have pulled off another move. He pulled off everything that he really could in that match. And by God, was that match something to watch. Honestly, I, I, if I upload this to YouTube, it's going to be it's gonna be just crazy. Chad Fukushima could possibly put Sammy Rai out. Yeah, it's over. Chad Fukushima able to put out Sammy Rai. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Honestly, just getting creamed like that. It was something I wasn't expecting. Right now, I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, take a little bit of a break here. If you want me to? I'm gonna start and see if I can what, what I can do for this uh, little tournament. And if you like it, that's fine. If you don't, that's uh that's okay. I'm gonna make sure everyone gets a shot. Everyone's gonna get a chance in this tournament. It's gonna be to crown the best in the world, the best in the world. So I'm going to end the stream for now. I'm going to come back later. Possibly. Probably. I don't know. It's like 7.55 where I am right now. And I'm getting a bit tired. I might actually. Theoretically. Yeah. Yeah, I'm TB. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we'll watch this soon. Alright. That was all for now. Probably gonna upload this to YouTube as soon as it comes out, but uh, yeah. Have fun. Stay frosty. And whatever you do, you know, just, just be nice to someone. L live, live, live a good life. A wholesome life.